something put together with epoxy and I brought it in I decided to have lunch while I was in there and um, noticed that Matthias uploaded a video uh, talking about the channel the uh, Heist Wandel project channel I'm gonna give you my side of it because I've been silent on that since I made that video the other day and I mean it's a pretty good assumption to say that it was about that and about you know what was going on but I didn't come out and say it I mean you have to you have to kind of assume that's what I was talking about and I'll admit that's what I was talking about but uh, you have to I don't know sometimes I'm not really good at spelling things out too implicitly but um, what I was saying about the vast majority of people not being interested in the behind the scenes making of YouTube videos, I was talking about the vast majority of the people that are in your current audience that uh, subscribe to you with the expectation that you're going to be doing something else. And of course that really bears out in the comments that we were getting on that channel on those videos. Every single one we're getting a bunch of comments from people saying shut up and build something already and you know it didn't matter what you said to say that you know this channel wasn't about that they would still come and they would still say it even sometimes the same people that you left a comment to saying it's not that type of channel because I think and I said this before in another video on that channel people drop comments and they don't pay any more attention to it it's like you know, shouting into a gorge and waiting for your echo to come back. They don't wait for the echo, they take the fuck off. So let's go back to the beginning of the so-called project. The concept was my idea. It was my idea from the beginning, not the YouTube channel, okay? The idea was to set up a website, publishing an ongoing email exchange, talking about various things but in particular talking about the details of doing this kind of stuff um, building projects and so on and so forth not limited to that i mean you could talk about youtube or whatever but that was basically it the problem with any collaboration between us would be you know the old two cooks in the kitchen or too many cooks in the kitchen analogy we're two cooks Okay, we want to do things our own way and it's never going to work out smoothly. And I thought that the email exchange was one way to get something going, something, you know, different and interesting. I know a lot of people, especially video centric people, you know, they watch YouTube all the time. They don't even visit your website and do you a favor <laughs> by going and reading the build article and becoming more informed about the project. You know, they wouldn't be interested in reading the website, but it's just something that, you know, the true fans could get into if they chose to. And it wouldn't be a daily thing. It wouldn't be a, it wouldn't even be a weekly thing. It'd be just like a, a once in a while thing. And it would go there and, and people that are truly interested in that kind of detail could go there and get a little insight or a little behind the scenes type thing like that. But it wasn't meant to be, uh, it wasn't meant to be something that was big. And extending that concept to a YouTube channel would have worked out fine if it had stuck with the original concept, in my opinion. The fact is the collaboration is only going to work if both parties are into what they're doing. I mean, you have to be interested in what you're doing. And for me, it's like I said uh, to him afterwards that I have this channel. I, I can post whatever I want on this channel. I mean, if I want to talk about YouTube, I can do it on this channel. So why would I post it over there? Another problem was the imbalance in the audience Given that, you know, he has the more subscribers to begin with, the bigger channel, a lot of the people that were, you know, subscribed to the channel after it got going were from his camp, I guess you could say, Wandalites, if you want to put them that way. And given the perceived rivalry between us, the Wandalites would routinely turn the comment section into a huge hate fest directed at me. I mean, we're talking Wild Kingdom stuff here, like a pack of, you know, starving hyenas. And I expected Marlon Perkins to show up, but I could take that. That wouldn't be a problem if the other problems didn't exist. 
with uh, going like off track with the original concept. And what I thought was happening was I thought that this was poisoning the regular viewers, like turning them off so that they would, you know, watch one of these videos and then they wouldn't watch one of my regular videos because I had that comment often. Like people would say that these are the only videos I do anymore were these rant videos, so-called, on that channel and on this channel. When nothing could be further from the truth, I've been steadily, constantly putting out content on my main channel all along. I haven't stopped. I mean, I slowed down a bit maybe two years ago, two and a half years ago to work on my Red channel to get that started. But other than that, it's been steady pump out the content over the past two years. I mean, I'm putting out minimum of three sometimes five uh, bill videos per month on my main channel. That was probably the biggest deciding factor in getting out of it because I think it was actually harming because a lot of people pointed this out and I, you know, semi politely pointed out that there's a difference. I mean, you can pick the channels, but you can't count on people. You can't count on people to do the smart thing especially with the way that YouTube is set up now. A lot of people don't look at their subscription feed anymore. They go from the home page and whatever pops up there in the recommended things, that's what they go and watch. And if they see Heist Wandel, like if they're zooming in on Heist because they follow me, or if they zoom in on Wandel because they follow him, or if they zoom in on both names because they follow both of us, then they're going and watching that video. And if they're looking for a project, they're not getting it. And being human, like the rest of us, it turns them off.